As Amazon sellers, we need to understand that Amazon is a massive search engine. Just like Google and YouTube, people come to the marketplace searching for something very specific. And our goal as Amazon sellers is to fill that something specific. We need to fill the demand of the product that the customer is looking for. And we also need to tell Amazon to show our product that the customer is looking for. All of that has to do with keyword research. In today's video, I'm gonna break down how to find the best keywords for your listings, for your PPC campaigns, so that you can generate more income selling on Amazon. Let's get into it. All right, champs, let's dive into today's video and let's break down how to do keyword research properly. I'm gonna show you guys three different strategies. If you guys enjoy, if you guys learn something, please like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. My name is Trevin Peterson. For those that don't know me, I've been selling on Amazon for almost five years. And some of these things that I'm going to teach you are some things that I've just kind of learned over the last five years. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's come over here and let's break down um, keyword research at its finest. So the product that we're going to be talking about is drop ceiling tiles. Okay. So let's say this is the product that we're looking to sell. And what we're going to do is we found this product. The first way to find keywords for your um, listing, for your PPC campaigns, for your optimization is literally on Amazon. It's completely free. I searched drop ceiling tiles and you can see two by two, two by four black, uh, two by four white, 24 by 24, two by four decorative, 24 by 48, two by four white replacement, white, black. So we can see that there are different sizes and there's different colors. So that could help us know, okay, is there better opportunity selling black tiles or white tiles? Is it better two by two or is it better two by four? That's where we would do some research with software tools, which we'll talk about to gauge kind of the search volume. We can also break down the competition. So that is the first way. And again, if I just do drop ceiling and then I don't do anything, we can see drop ceiling hooks, drop ceiling lights, drop ceiling tiles, black drop ceiling panels, drop ceiling grid, drop ceiling kit. So we just found a ton of other keywords. So what we would want to do is we want to write those down on a little Google doc or inside your notes and just write down all of those keywords because we want to go in and search them and just see what is being searched most, where is the least amount of competition. And there's a lot of different things that we can do that. So that is the first strategy on finding keywords is simply searching it on Amazon drop ceiling. Don't type anything. Um, I'm sure we could do uh, drop tile, um, drop tile ceiling panels. Again, there's another list of keywords. So that's what you're going to want to do. First and foremost, make a list from there. Once you have a list, you can go in and verify those keywords by coming to the Helium 10 Magnet Keyword Research uh, uh, software tool. I'll put the link down below. You guys can get 50% off for the first month. Um, but right here, I search drop, uh, drop ceiling tiles, and you'll see that it shows me right here that this product is being searched 3,500 times. The IQ score is super high. The CPR number is super low. So that is kind of a breakdown of that keyword itself. But then it's also going to show um, 2,700 other keywords. Now, this is a lot of keywords. Um, this is where I don't really... Um, like going through every single one. So there's actually a different strategy that I like doing a little bit better, but this is going to be similar to the Amazon, but this is going to uh, like the Amazon search bar that, but this is actually going to give you the information that you need in terms of the search volume, the demand, the competition and whatnot. So as you can see, ceiling tile two by four drop, um, it, it doesn't really have um, any data. So that's not going to be the best one ceiling. Um, tiled wall. So this is where you're going to have a lot of keywords that just are not relevant. And that's uh, the, the next thing that I want to talk about that is probably the most important part of keyword research is relevancy. I talked about how Amazon is a search engine. Our goal is to fill the demand of what the customers are searching for and we need to be relevant. So if the customers are searching for ceiling tile, we want to show up a ceiling tile. We don't want to show um, a bathroom floor tile. Okay. Those are two different things. The ceiling tile is different. They're made of different material. 
they're different installation, everything about it is different. So we want to be relevant on the keywords that we know, hey, if the customer searches for this, is our product relevant? So that is super important. So as we uh, scroll through here, we're going to see that there's a lot of keywords that just are not relevant and we don't even want to necessarily deal with them yet. Now, we could rank for them and we could get some sales from them, but the majority of the sales are going to come from keywords that have significant search volume that are relevant to your product. So that's super important. So as you can see right here, um, let's see, um, floor tile um, pill and stick that has nothing to do with our um, ceiling, ti uh, ceiling tiles. Okay, now you could use that peel and stick to stick to the ceiling to add a different aesthetic, but that's probably a different keyword and, and that's not the exact product that we're looking to sell. What we're trying to sell is those uh, the, the drop down ceiling tiles. You've probably punched holes in them. You uh, In school, you probably shot pencils through the roof and, and stabbed them into the ceiling tiles. Those are what we're talking about. Okay, so that's what we're trying to find. Um, we're trying to find those keywords that are relevant to that specific product. So again, we can scroll through and we can make a list of keywords that are relevant. So um, as you can see, uh, ceiling panel square. So there's a keyword we can come up here and enter in different filters. This for me is just a little bit longer of a process where there's an easier way to get all the keywords a little bit quicker. But this is the, the way that you're going to search um, for um, the keywords that you found right here like drop tile, um, ceiling panels, ceiling panels, like searching those to see their search volume. So that is, um, those are two different ways that you can find keywords. Again, you can find keywords by putting it in magnet and scrolling through all of these keywords. But again, you need to figure out what's relevant and what's not, that's super important. The third thing um, that I wanna show you, and this is probably the easiest way, is to use what's called Helium 10 Cerebro. And I just wanna show you guys a little pro tip um, this is something that I haven't really talked about um, in very many of my videos, but what you can do is I search for drop ceiling tile on uh, the magnet tool. And if we come right here to view top products, we can figure out what are the top products for this particular keyword. And right here we see that this um, Armstrong ceiling tile, the two by four is the top product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this ASIN and I'm gonna come over here and I can plug it right into Cerebro and I'm gonna hit get keywords. And just like that, I found um, the top product for that keyword and I'm going to find the keywords that this seller is ranking for. Okay, so now let's back up a step and break down Helium 10 Cerebro just so that you guys understand what it is. So if you come to the tools tab, you come right here to um, Cerebro. What it's called is a reverse product lookup. You're going to find ASINs of a product and an ASIN, if you come right here, if you have um, Helium 10, these are ASINs. So ASIN is just a way to um, categorize and, and basically organize the products um, in, in Amazon's marketplace. So you take this, um, this ASIN, you copy it, and you plug it into um, Cerebro, you hit search, and you're going to see that there are 692 keywords on um, th that I just pulled up. The cool thing about Cerebro is these are going to be a lot more targeted and more relevant keywords. So as you can see, there's 692. We're on Magnet. There was, what, 2,700 keywords. 2,700 is a lot of keywords. And the first like 10 weren't even keywords that I was going to even target. So Cerebro, it already narrows it down. And there's filters that we can narrow it down even more. So what we're going to do is we're going to narrow it down to find the keywords that are ranking on the first page. So that's super important. If it's ranking on the first page, that means when a customer searches that product, they're buying this product. And if that product is similar to ours, that means it's relevant and we want to also rank for that keyword. So you guys kind of see the power of keyword research being relevant, finding what's being searched, what's not. Because if we can figure out what's working for other sellers, why not just copy that, do the same thing and still their sales. So that is the whole goal of doing keyword research properly. Again, this is a process that takes some time to um, learn. This is not going to happen overnight. 
building a business doesn't happen overnight. So I want you guys to be very clear on that. So I'm gonna do organic rank one to 20. I'm going to hit apply filters. From there, you're going to see that it jumped down to 119 keywords. So we started with 700 to now 119. Okay, so that's a lot better. Instead of going through 2,700 keywords or 692, now we've got 119. That's a more realistic number. And I'm gonna come right here and do the search volume from largest to smallest. And right there, we see ceiling tiles, drop ceiling tiles, ceiling tile, ceiling tiles 24 by 48. We see that these are more specific, more relevant to our product. One, again, another pro tip. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in this ASIN, get a list of keywords, and then we're going to get another ASIN and get a list of keywords. There, go there are going to be duplicates, but our goal is to find all of the keywords possible for this specific product because we want to figure out the best keywords, the most relevant keywords, the least uh, competitive keywords. And if we can do that and put those in our title, in our bullet points, in our descriptions, in our PPC campaigns, that is where we're going to generate a significant amount of sales and generate a lot of money. So that is obviously the end goal. And we can see right here, um, a lot of search volume for ceiling tiles. And overall, there's a lot of search for this particular product. Um, the CPR numbers are, are low, so the competition is low. This is, this is how we're finding these keywords. So again, there are a lot of different ways to go about keyword research. Um, using Helium 10 Cerebro is a great way. I like going right here and just getting um, what Amazon is recommending because this shows Amazon is, they're smart. They have AI systems that literally are reading our mind. And when somebody searches, in, searches drop tile, Amazon is recommending what other customers has clicked on and bought. So these keywords are super important and we wanna make sure that we are using these keywords. We're gonna use Magnet to verify them. And then we're going to use Cerebro to find the remaining keywords. So when it's all said and done, you might have 100, 200, 300 plus keywords that you're going to be trying to fit in your listings, title, bullet points, and PPC campaigns. Okay, so that is where you're going to put them. And then the, the keywords that you can't fit in them, you're going to put in the back end search terms. Okay, so that is super important. I hope you guys go through get these software tools, get Helium 10. I'll have the link for 50% off down below. Um, use Cerebro, use Magnet, use Amazon itself, use them off of one another and take an hour, take two hours, take however long it takes to find the best keywords and map it out. So that is what I, I do for all of my product research. When I go to create my product, for the listing optimization. When I go to create my PPC campaigns, this is how I'm finding the best keywords, most relevant, most searched keywords to then utilize in my Amazon business brand, the product that I'm launching. So I hope you guys learned something. And now most importantly, you take action on the things that you learned. Go through, check it out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I am here in the comments. You guys can also join the free Facebook group. I have a free training down below. I have tons of resources. I wanna help you learn how to sell on Amazon. If you guys are looking for a mentor, I'd love to also have you in my full mentorship program where I will take you through the entire process a to Z. So the link will be down below. You guys can apply and schedule a free discovery call. I want to get on a call with you, see how we can help you. And so we can take your Amazon FBA business to the next level. So again, that is the, the keyword research right here. Super important. Go implement. And we'll be talking to you in the next video. Mm -hmm.